Hey guys, it's Frankie here with another Watch Me Destroy My Health blog, and welcome back to another vegan day of eating. And I always start my day with reverse osmosis water, which is free of fluoride and chlorine. It's like super amazing for detoxifying your pineal gland. So let me show you guys my system. Oh my god, guys, like I totally set this up myself. I'm like really good at getting piped on my knees. Like like no, no. I'm I'm really good with pipes. Like like the plumbing kind of pipes. Like I'm really good at plumbing with pipes. So, uh here we have a storage tank and it's not that big. You just need a little bit of space in the back. Uh so this is the filtration system. Uh the first filter is a sediment filter that removes like all the icky gooky stuff like the bugs and the insects and as a vegan, I, I kind of care about insects, but as long as they're not in my water. So the next two filters are the carbon filters. Uh, those remove like chlorine and the tiny sediments. And then we have the fluoride filter and the deodorizer. So it's like a five stage filtration system and oh my god. Guys, guys if you haven't taken five at once before, oh my god, you have to try it. Like the five stage filtration system, makes the water taste so good and oh this is just a shrine to the vegan gods I for one welcome our new plant-based overlords after I'm nice and hydrated I just love starting my day with like a bowl of oatmeal or a smoothie bowl because if you put a smoothie in a bowl it makes it like breakfast instead of dessert let me show you guys my favorite recipe Oh, uh, you guys can just ignore all the plastic. Since we're plant-based, we have like such a good impact on the environment anyway, it doesn't matter. And, and we don't eat fish, so who cares about the ocean? So, uh, the first ingredient we have is uh, coconut palm sugar. So we're just gonna put about half a cup of palm sugar in our bowl. Okay guys, so that's half a cup of palm sugar. And then we're gonna put half a cup of cane sugar. So. The palm sugar is a little more nutrient dense uh, than the cane sugar. It has like extra bug parts in it and like dirt, so it's more nutrients. And now we're gonna put a quarter cup of cinnamon. So of course guys, everything is organic. Like we need to use that cow manure and cow fertilizer to grow our crops to pretend like we're better than everyone else. Okay guys, so now we have the cane sugar, the palm sugar, and the cinnamon together. And like this is so good on its own, like I could eat it just like this. Uh, but we're gonna add some more uh, foods just so I can play arts and crafts like the little child that I am. Okay guys, so here I just have some organic dried blueberries. Uh, since they're from Whole Foods, they're good for you even though they have sunflower oil in them. And then I have some sliced almonds. Gotta make sure to get those anti-nutrients in high amounts in every meal. And those like aflatoxins and mold. Where would I be without nuts? And then guys, I need to add some flax seeds to make it resemble bird food even more. And then guys, we just have some goji berries. And I'm just gonna use a little bit because... I spent like all of my boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend's paycheck because these are really, really expensive. And, and you guys can add some nutritional yeast if you'd like to. I just remembered I'm gonna eat some dirt later for B12 so we don't have to. Oh my god guys, how good does that look? I'm so excited. Oh my god guys, this looks so good. Mmm, you guys have to try this oh my god it's like it's like not too sweet it's like just sweet enough oh my god guys i totally forgot we were supposed to add a little bit of maple syrup on top just for a little more sweetness uh, so maybe next time i know some of you guys might be thinking frankie isn't this a little bit unsustainable okay they actually had to shut off a couple of shipping ports because me and my vegan friends were buying all of these foods. But it's okay guys, because we'll just find another country to indoctrinate into slavery for our ridiculous plant foods that need to be shipped across the planet from like dozens of different countries. 
Okay, so if you guys don't mind buying my generic ebook about how to shit yourself six times a day, uh, this Charmin toilet paper isn't gonna pay for itself. Oh, hey guys, I was just outside here earthing, aka grounding, and there's like electricity in the ground that's like free antioxidants. You guys should really look into it, but I was a little famished, so I have some nice juicy red strawberries. And, and what I do, as I said earlier, like we're gonna get some dirt for our B12. And this is so convenient because like while I'm out here doing my daily earthing, I just take the strawberries and I like dip them in the ground in the dirt. And, and you gotta really make sure to get some dirt on there. Like you wanna make sure it's covered in dirt. We gotta get plenty of B12 guys. So you really wanna make sure to get the dirt on there nice and well. We gotta get plenty of B12 guys. Cause like the reason we don't have B12 now is cause we wash our fruits and vegetables. So really make sure you get a lot on there. And this is like really delicious guys. It has this like complex earthy flavor to the strawberries. I can't really describe it, but it's definitely like earthy and like woodsy. And you guys could like, you guys could use B12 supplements, but like you don't know if those are getting absorbed. And like we know there's definitely B12 in this dirt. So it's a pretty safe bet. Guys, I've only had like a hundred grams of sugar today, so I am just like starving. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite, or at least one of my favorite recipes. It's a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's like a little treat I have every once in a while, and since it's Saturday, I'm gonna treat myself. Oh my god, guys, it is so good. You guys are gonna love this. What's so nice about this, guys, is you only need four ingredients. Of course, everything's organic. I here have creamy organic peanut butter. I just love fat, heavy, creamy nuts. Uh, the Concord grape gel, just like really classic, and it's organic. And then we just have some peanut oil. I mean, it's, it's okay if it's organic. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I just couldn't find some organic. And here we have the organic soft white bread. I mean, I only paid like $7 for this loaf of bread. Uh, it's okay because it's on my boyfriend's credit. I mean, my girlfriend's credit card. Okay, so first we take our moldy high omega six peanut butter and spread it on our inflammatory refined white bread that has no semblance of nutrition whatsoever. And make sure to really slather that peanut butter on there. You really gotta get those aflatoxins and that mold in your diet, guys. So don't skip on the nut butter. Okay, so once we have a significant enough amount of peanut butter to inhibit our liver function, then we need some jelly. And what goes better with inhibited liver function than sending some fructose straight to your liver? And make sure you really get enough jelly on there so our insulin is spiked through the roof. Okay guys, that looks good to me. Plenty of peanut butter and jelly. And of course guys, we have to grill it. This is what makes it so amazing and crispy and delicious. So I like using peanut oil and elephants, which are one of the longest living animals, actually convert plants into long chain fats in their body. So since peanut oil is a long chain fat, high oleic peanut oil, it's like super good for you. And uh, just in case we don't have enough, oxidized rancid fats in our diet already. Uh, we need to heat this in the pan to make it even worse. I mean, if you're not oxidizing plant fats in your arteries on a vegan diet, then what are you doing? I know some of you guys are oil-free vegans. We just want a little bit of peanut oil in the pan. Oh my god, guys, look at that color. Oh my god, that looks so amazing. This smells so good right now. Oh my god, guys, look how good this looks. Do you hear that crunchy crust? Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at it. It's like a... It's like when I was a kid, oh my god. <laughs>
Oh my god, guys, this is like, this is insane. Look at this. Oh my god. This is the best day ever, guys. Guys, this is like, oh my god, what the, oh my god. I'm telling you guys, this is like, this is like absolutely crazy. You have to try this. And it's like vegan. It's like this, it's vegan. Oh my god, guys, I'm such a silly little boy. I forgot to put bananas on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So let's make like a quick banana smoothie. Oh my god, guys, like, don't get me so excited with all these bananas around. Okay, so not only is this banana smoothie such a great source of like potassium and nutrients, it's like this amazing source of energy. I just feel like, you know, like I can run through a wall, you know, when I eat it. I don't know if it's like, maybe it's just like the, the sugar content and the fruit sugar is what we need for energy. Maybe it's like all the fructose rushing to my liver and my body telling me I need to burn off some of it, but I, I don't really know. Okay guys, so all you really need to do is just peel a bunch of bananas. And then after you fit in however many bananas you can squeeze up there. And then we just need to add a little bit of water. Not too much water. We don't really want to dilute the flavor of the banana too much. And like any good chef, always taste your smoothies. It's okay, it could be a little bit sweeter, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of maple syrup. Just to add a little bit of sweetness. Oh my god guys, that is just perfect. I can feel my teeth falling out already. Oh my god guys, I just love being out in nature with my smoothie because like as soon as I drink it, I usually have the urge to go. So it makes it really easy and convenient. Oh my god guys, this is so amazing. You like, you like have to try this. Like it's totally worth like shitting your brains out for two hours. Guys, I can't tell you how amazing this squatta potty is. When my asshole is raw from spurting out diarrhea six times a day, the last thing I need is some knee pain. Hey guys, I'm just heading to the gym and the reason I'm wearing a hat but I'm half naked is because I want guys, I mean, I mean girls, to know that they shouldn't even look at me unless they look like Tarzan. I mean Jane. I mean, unless the girls look like Jane, they shouldn't even be looking at me. Like, I don't need any ugly boys. I mean, I don't need any ugly girls staring me down. But if you look like a tree, please spank me. I wonder if this would fit up my... Oh, hey guys, uh, I'm just making some dinner here. Uh, I got some anti-nutrients shipped straight from Mexico. I just love some salicylates in my avocado. Uh, so tonight we're having a sweet potato and a small sweet potato like this usually takes just about an hour, an hour and a half in a hot oven. Uh, so we'll throw that in there. But the star attraction of tonight, guys, is a vegan hot dog. And guys, oh my god, this is super simple, it's super creative, it's super easy and delicious. Okay guys, so this is amazingly simple. First we just need the hot dog bun, and then you just need a carrot that's roughly the size of the hot dog bun. Uh, this is a little big, but that's how we like it. So, the only reason that meat tastes good, guys, is because they add salt and sugar to the meat. So what I do is, I just add a little bit of 
maple syrup on the hot dog. And what this does is it adds like a little bit of smokiness and sweetness. It makes it taste just like a hot dog, guys. And I just put a little bit of salt on top. And of course, guys, we can't forget our avocado. Guys, I am so hungry. I'm just going to have this hot dog now. I throw the sweet potato in the oven. Maybe I'll eat it later. But I, I just have to try this now. Oh my god, guys, look at that. It's just like a normal hot dog. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. Oh my god. It's like, it's like crunchy, just like a regular hot dog snack, guys. It's so amazing. And guys, that maple syrup, the smokiness, it tastes just like a hot dog. You guys, you guys, oh my god, I, I can't tell you guys how much this is just, just like me. You have to try it. Oh, hey guys, so uh, I just decided like, you know, even, even as a vegan, my diet has like no real impact on the environment, especially compared to like me driving my car around. And even though I only eat plant foods, like there are so many rodents and insects and animals that are killed in conventional cropping. So I'm out here just like, I don't know what to do. Like I'm just gonna dig a hole and bury myself like, what's the point of being on this planet if it's if I'm being so bad to it? Like, I'm hurting it so much. Uh, but but the problem is, guys, I'm like too weak to dig the hole. So maybe when my boyfriend, I mean, maybe when my girlfriend gets home, he can help me. I mean, uh, she can help me uh, dig the hole. Uh, I'm just really like upset, guys. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. Oh my God! Thank you, guys and girls, so much for joining me today. If you guys have any ideas for my future vegan day of eating videos, please let me know. Also, guys, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button. And share the video if you can. Uh, other than that, if you guys get me a lot of views, uh, maybe I'll have my boyfriend, I mean, girlfriend in my next video so you guys can meet them. Thanks again, guys, and enjoy the rest of the weekend.